all right welcome to part two in this part we have decided we are going to make a role based login page in the ASP.NET so far we ended up till here now using the EDMX we're going to query the database so how can we do that so I'm gonna shut this thing down the EDMX file which shows a mapping and now in order to query through the database uh, if you see on the right hand side I've got uh, data model .edmx, and I got the designer when I click on that I see a partial class called as data model entities this is what I have created at the time of when the wizard was running right so this is a class which is pretty much responsible for you know communicating with database he knows everything in and out about this thing if you look on the top sides it knows about our tables the TBL user the TBL roles then it has created a method for us like uh, in future if I want to create a role or I want to create a user it takes all the methods and everything is created for us we don't need to worry about anything right so everything is done for us uh, but don't mess with this code just simply use this code okay and the good thing about this thing you know this class is a partial class you know the partial class is like you can extend this class if you want to okay so that that would be something like we can view, uh, look into the future but right now what I'm going to do is control V and then I'm gonna say uh, underscore data model I'm sorry I've done something stupid control space data model and I'll say is equal to new okay so we are ready so now at the top I've created an instance now first thing in your plan in your mind is okay so you're telling me this is a guy who's gonna communicate to database okay fine no problem but how I'm going to check first job is to check the username and the password matches if these guys match then I'm gonna check for roles so what I can do is I can say alright where result I mean they will return something in return to me so based on that you know I can do it so I say data model now I said like you know this guy knows everything about your tables and all so so now what we are doing is we are querying through the table okay so I'm saying tbl user dot okay I want to fetch only one record inside of which all right I need to get rid of this guy okay cancel and I need to say this is a lambda expression don't worry this is pretty simple I dot username now I'm saying hey go into the database and check for the username if this username equals to my login user dot username now you're gonna ask me what the hell what, what is this thing and what is this thing if you check in the previous video what we did was like you know we have converted this thing to the template so uh, you can see the text box as username okay so this is login user dot username all right so pretty cool so what would we do uh, for the password it would be login user dot password which you can see right here all right so so cool so we have checked for the username check if this guy is available in the database and also check for his password his password should match the password what he has entered into the login user box and it should be the password I'm sorry P A S O K. someone is angry password all right and I'm gonna hit uh, the semicolon in the end all right so you can see the whole thing right which I've coded pretty cool and if you look at the where it returns uh, the you know role based login demo dot tbl user this is the type it returns okay so now uh, we are sure what's gonna happen now if the result is not equal to null it means both the things are validated and everything is good to go right so enter and cool next thing I'm gonna check is if now now this is something tricky but I want you to remember this thing uh, when uh, there's a concept called as lazy loading in entity framework the EDMX file what we have just created when it loads the user it does not load you know the roles along with that so sometimes it happens you know you need to come out of this lazy loading so what you do is you force uh, the EDMX or the entity framework and you say when you bring it bringing the users along with that bringing the roles as well okay so now next thing what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say if uh, hold on if result dot tbl okay that was stupid if result dot tbl roles and if I say dot and I'll say the role name 
dot uh, equals if this thing equals to admin then go to the admin page right I'm gonna say is like response dot redirect and I'll say something like this uh, this is admin right so I'll say admin slash admin page dot ASPX okay so this is cool but you might be thinking okay this thing I'm which I'm writing do you think this is gonna work alright let's find out control V control V and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this thing as else if and this is going to be else if again and now how many roles do we have we have admin then we have uh, super and for super we can write something like this super and the page would be super page.spx and this guy is normal normal okay and for normal we can write normal oopsie normal okay so pretty cool yeah so as you can see our pages are ready I mean uh, what we are trying to do is in this we are trying to say alright first check the username and password if they matches then say ok and if they match then this result will be loaded if this result is loaded that means next thing we need to check for the, is the role if the role verifies correctly the way we want it ok then what we can do is uh, land them based on their uh, appropriate pages in the end I am so gonna say else okay hold on home and I'll say delete I'm not comfortable with my laptop I'm gonna say response dot redirect and I'll say error whoopsie error dot ASPX page okay this is what I'm gonna do and in order to opt this shortcut I'm gonna say alt enter and I can use the reshaper command invert F alright and hit enter I can come here alt enter invert F uh, no this is good alright so control shift build and everything appears to be great now and let me check the solution explorer if I'm missing anything okay I'm missing the error.espx page which I'm not gonna get anyways but still I'm going to put it okay error whoops okay so I'm gonna write this is error page page cool okay so we are ready now okay so I hope this is uh, what uh, gives you an idea right let me check the database uh, in database uh, if you see I have normal admin and super or a lowercase right and I have not done any typo so it is admin super and normal and they are navigating correctly so let's debug this thing and see what you can see out of this right so I'm not sure what I had in my login I think I remember Mickey Rolta was the username Mickey Rolta is the guy alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go by Mickey and I'm gonna pass the password as Rolta I'm gonna say login the moment I say login I come in and then you can see what happened and then you can see there is a result I'm sorry if you are not I don't think you would be able to see so I'll show you something like over here so in result you can see oh right this guy got authenticated because the username and password which I entered it worked pretty fine but at the very same time you can see the roles are null right so next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step in again alright so this line will push the roles alright so now you can see the moment I push now the role is filled in alright so now you can see the details I'm sorry I have to push a little up now you can see the details of roles and everything so this is cool right so entity framework is very much cool I'm actually I'm using that wind uh, vs 2008 and now in the market uh, there's a bit you know the higher version which is much more cooler and then we go down okay now you know this is going to work right so this is a normal page that's pretty cool now let's do the same I'm gonna stop this thing and I'm gonna run this thing again 
and uh, now let's do it for what uh, okay okay sounds pretty good so let's go with okay okay easy to type easy to remember okay okay and hit enter now I'm not gonna uh, do the debug and all now when the what page comes out you know so you see you are the super page and one last thing we are going to try is uh, I'm gonna run this thing again and we're gonna try Nikki Anderson so you will end up in the admin page and son okay hit f5 yeah so you are the admin page everything is great so based on the rules you can navigate to different pages but uh, we have not coded for one more thing which is which is pretty basic you can do it by yourself if result fails if result fails then then there is a thing, there's a thing called as login again uh, the login control is very good control login user dot failure text is equal to oops there was a problem okay let's hit f5 and let's try this thing one more time and let's see what happens okay and and we are still logging what is wrong with this thing oops I forgot one thing if result is equal to null okay I need to put this whole thing as else home and end control x control v control kitty hit f5 let's go one more time okay the firefox is still running now this is not I like it so open the task manager and where are you Firefox and mm, task okay now let shall we try one more time okay it did open pretty good now I'm gonna try as okay and I'm for okay I'm gonna enter some crazy password I'm gonna hit something something which I'm not gonna like and it is waiting it is waiting still waiting and what just happened let me check why is it waiting Okay, let me check and where are we okay whoops there was a problem so it took so long oh my god all right so anyways uh, you got the idea how this whole thing works now so I hope you enjoy the video uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this code onto my website all right so you can download this code and uh, one thing to notice when I created the EDMX okay so I uh, it put the connection string for myself so if you are using the same thing then you need to delete this thing you need to delete this thing from your configuration you need to add your uh, the, you need to configure with your database in order to work this thing correctly okay so I hope uh, you enjoy this video and if you like this video then please subscribe thank you for watching this video once again good night